But we are here for more important thing is to put our three points across to your good self and to say who are we and what does the United States of America mean to us? Who are we? Um, approximately 60 odd years ago, when the Western countries were in serious problem with Hitler, and the West was in problem, the Europe was in problem, they called upon the Asian uh, countries, which you are an expert of, uh, and also they called on the United States of America. We, our, my father particularly, and our foreparents, fought side by side with the United States of America to um, rid Europe of, of the world of um, Nazism. The objective was to fight for freedom, fight for um, basic human rights, which we knew that the Nazis were totally the opposite to. So we have a tremendous history of being great friends. Moving on from there, Pakistan, since its creation, has only supported one country and was always uh, allied with one country. And I reiterate that, and I'd like to underline that point. Pakistan has always been the friend of the United States. When, during the Cold War period, Soviet Union, and then you have, of course, the China, both of these countries were at war, and serious war during Vietnam with America. Even at that particular time, Pakistan played no politics, was on the side and stayed on the side of the United States of America. And that we have a tremendous history that we always support each other. And we're also thankful for the, to the United States of America for supplying us with uh, arms and supplying us things as a, a trading nation and businesses and so forth. But recently we have got problems and we need to address these problems. And these problems are this. There is enemies out there of the United States of America. And there is enemies out there of Pakistan. And there is enemies there of Afghanistan. These enemies, whoever they are, whoever they might be, and uh, I asked Mr. Hubert to, maybe he is, uh, uh, he is an expert on this and probably could tell us, who is this enemy that wants us to fight together? Who is this enemy that's trying to drive us apart? Who is this enemy that is now creating the mistrust between us? There's not a hospital in Pakistan currently <coughs> that does not have in every one of its wards, every one of its beds, a Pakistani who is injured by bombs and guns. Why? Because these Pakistanis are standing up for their friends, for Britain, for America. And the price they're paying is catastrophic. Limbs are hanging off, bombs everywhere. And these people have no hospitals to go to. They have no injections, no painkillers, and no nothing. <clears throat> I appeal to Mr. Hoover that you need to look at these factors. There are other countries, such as Israel, Egypt, and, and, and we have Korea, and then of course we have Pakistan. We're supposed to be allies of the United States of America. But these other three countries, if you look at them, they get full support in armament, they get full cooperation in aid, they get full things in everything. Now you, sir, are a political advisor to the ambassador of the United States, and we know your input goes as far as the administrations in the United States to the Obama. And we know Pentagon will take your views. And we're asking this. We are your friends. Do not fall into the hands of those people and whoever they may be from whichever country they may be who wants to make us go apart and apart and apart. And who is paying the price? America is paying the price, Pakistan is paying the price, people of Afghanistan are paying the price. And I hope that people like Mr. Hoover, who are young, vibrant, and they are the future of America. These, this is the gentleman who probably in three, four, five years from now will be the ambassador, ambassador of the United States. And I'm saying to you is this, sir, my four parents fought with you as your allies, Pakistan, my motherland, to this day is fighting for America. No Israeli lives are lost for America. No Egyptian lives are lost for America. And no Korean lives are lost for America. Yet the aid they are getting 
is full 100%. And yet Pakistan, whose lives are being lost every day for our friends. What aid are we getting? Mr. Hoover, it is this. If you promised F-16s 10 years ago, the F-16 arrives, arrives without the engine. We wait two more years, the engine comes. We wait four more years and the tires come. So this is not right. This is not just. You are our friend. And you are our friend, sir, and we look up to you. We've supported you. Even our neighbors who were supporting the very nation that were hell-bent on taking on America, some of them, our neighbors were siding with them. They had trade agreements with them. Not us. We were yours. We've always been with you, and we are with you today, and we will always be with you, because our philosophy is this. Once we call somebody friend, we take the consequences of come what may. And we've called you our friend. And therefore, I ask you and I appeal to you that please urge the ambassador, urge your government, because you specialize on the Indian affairs and the Pakistan affairs, the Bangladesh affairs, the Sri Lankan affairs, and currently your speciality is Pakistan and Afghanistan. Abraham Lincoln, a president of the United States of America, he is not only admired by the Americans, he's admired, admired by all of the Americans. He's admired by all of the Pakistanis, he's admired by all of the Asians, Africans, and every white. And the reason was said, the man was a fair man. He looked and he looked and he was a visionary and he had an ideology. And he had, the ideology was basically simple. We need to respect and honor fellow human being. And he says, the freedom is a great, great thing. But if you got freedom, if you got freedom, you must make sure others also have the freedom. Because if you do not share that freedom, and do not wish freedom for the others, one day you may lose that freedom. Sir, it's a great honor and a great privilege, and I hope that some of the things that I've said and some of the friends here have said, the fundamental issue is you are our friend. We need to work together. We do need, not need certain people with financial clout to distort the vision of the true Americans. Because I know that true Americans want peace, harmony. The true Pakistanis want peace and harmony. And that's what we need to strive for, that's what we need to go for, and that's what we need to work for. America must support Pakistan as Pakistan is supporting America. Thank you.